In this part of the mechanical training series, we are going to talk about importing and rendering your 3D model in SimLab Composer. To import your model to SimLab Composer, you can either use the integration plugin, which allows you to dynamically link your modeling software to SimLab Composer, or you can simply export the 3D model from the design software, then import it to SimLab Composer. In the Scene Building Workbench, go to File, and click on Import. Browse to the directory of your 3D model, then select it and click Open. A message box will appear with a few options. You can determine the orientation of the model in this box by setting the up vector, which is usually the z-axis in most 3D design software. You can also choose to scale and center the model in the 3D area. But since we need the dimensions of the model to remain as designed, we are not going to toggle this option on. Select Zoom to Imported Model to set the focus of the camera to the newly imported model. The Keep Dynamic Link option allows SimLab Composer to watch the imported files in case there has been a modification to it by the design software, so it can apply the modification instantly in SimLab Composer without the need to re-import the model. Click OK to import the model. This is a tractor model designed in SolidWorks. In the object tree to the left, you can view and select the components that are included in the model. You can also select the components by clicking on them in the 3D area. From the Rendering menu in the Scene Building Workbench, click on Real Time. The Real Time rendering in SimLab Composer allows you to modify the scene while the rendering process is still active. This in turn saves you a great deal of time where you can adjust the scene and instantly see the effects taking place. Let us begin by adjusting the lighting in the scene. Click on Environment in the object tree to the left. As you can see, the Environment Attributes appeared in the Attributes panel to the right. The scene is currently using the Sun and Sky system, which is more compatible with architectural rendering. A more suitable way to render mechanical designs in general is the use of HDR images. Click on the HDR tab and enable HDR. Notice how the library automatically switches to the HDR gallery provided by SimLab Composer, from which you can change the scene's HDR. Drag an HDR from the library onto the scene to apply it. An HDR image is a type of image that stores a high range of luminance within it, which makes it perfect to light up 3D scenes. In the HDR attributes to the right, you can adjust the brightness of the light emitted by the HDR image in the scene. Switch to the Ground tab in the Environment Attributes panel to the right. Here you can add reflection and shadow to the scene. Enable the ground reflection and notice how the scene mimics the appearance of having a plane under the 3D model. Adjust the reflection's roughness and strength by moving the sliders assigned to those attributes. Scroll down in the Ground tab and enable Ground Shadows. Ground Shadows further enhance the scene and place the model in a comprehensible state instead of having it floating around in space. Now that you are done adjusting the environment, you can proceed to modifying the object's materials. Click on the tractor's body to display the material's attributes. As you can see, it has a default material assigned to it. Change the material type to a metallic paint material. Under Color, you can change the base color of the metallic paint by moving the RGB sliders. Set it to a rich red, which is a common color for tractors worldwide. 
You can also modify the coat attributes which would determine the reflectivity of the metallic paint. Under the Flakes attribute, set the size of the flakes as well as the coverage to a small value to produce a subtle effect which would suit the appearance of a tractor's paint. SimLab Composer offers a huge variety of pre-designed materials that you can use right away in your scene. From the Material Library panel at the bottom, switch the display mode to medium icons with text, then drag and drop the cast iron material onto one of the wheel's rims. Notice that all of the rims had the cast iron material applied to them. This is due to having the same default material shared by them. Now you can click on the rim to display the attributes of the new cast iron material where you can modify its appearance to your liking. Click on the color box to view the colors diagram and darken the base color slightly. From the material library, apply the galvanized metal material to the engine and again to the gearbox. Now click on the gearbox and adjust the color to differentiate it from the engine's material. Drag and drop the chrome material to the loader's arms and increase the chrome's material's roughness. Go back to the environment's attributes and change the rotation of the HDR image to have a better angle of light emitted towards the tractor. Keep in mind that since you are using the real-time rendering, you can always adjust the lighting in the scene to further improve the quality of the rendering. Click on a tire to display its material, then set it to plastic. As you can see, with the current roughness value the tire seems too shiny, so increase the roughness to have a better dispersion of reflection and a more rubbery appearance. Proceed by applying materials from the library to the 3D objects in the same fashion.
To use a custom texture that you have in a material, click on the Textures box and simply select the image you want to use as a texture. Drag and drop the chrome material onto the headlights trim. As it appears, the chrome material was applied to the trim and to the headlights glass as well. That means that they both share the same material, which shouldn't be the case. To solve this issue, Select the glass object, then drag a material from the library onto it. In SimLab Composer, selecting an object before applying a material from the library will apply the material to the selected objects only, and will ignore any other objects even if they share the original material with the selected object. From the Material menu, select Show Scene Materials. The Scene Materials window will display all the materials used in your scene. Right-click on a material and choose Select Objects Using Material. This option allows you to identify and deal with objects based on the materials assigned to them. Materials that have a star icon on them are default materials. This is a good way to find objects that you have not applied a new material to. Select the objects that use the MTL2 material. These objects are part of the rear wheels and still have the default material applied to them. While holding control on your keyboard, click on their counterpart at the front wheel to select them all. Now you can display the materials for the selected objects only in the Scene Materials window. Drag and drop the front wheel material to the rear wheel default material to unify them. Dragging a material onto another material will transfer all the attributes from the source material to the target material. Press F4 on the keyboard to start the real-time rendering. The rear indicator light still has a default material applied to it. Drag a glass material from the library and apply it to the rear light and adjust the color and make it yellow. Click on the Region Rendering icon and create a marquee around the rear light. The Region Rendering feature in SimLab Composer is a great tool that you can use to focus the rendering on a specific region to quickly get and evaluate the appearance of that region. Stop the real-time rendering and adjust the camera for a final render. From the Render menu, select Fixed Rendering. The fixed rendering, as you can see, renders the scene in a specific resolution that you can set from the render settings. It should be used when you are satisfied with the materials and lighting in the scene, and need to produce the final image, since unlike real-time rendering, you cannot modify the materials while it's active. Once you are pleased with the image quality, click on the Image Capture icon. 
You can choose to set the image type as PNG, a JPEG, or a PNG without the background where you would get an image with transparency in place of the white background. Select the type of the image and type in a name for it and then save it. Next is rendering an animation sequence. Switch to the Animation Workbench. To create a simple animation for the tractor, set the current frame in the timeline at the bottom of the screen to frame 30. Then rotate the tractor 90 degrees. As you can see, SimLab Composer has automatically created an animation key on frame 30 and an initial keyframe at frame 0. Those two created frames represent the animation of the tractor rotating 90 degrees. You can simply move the timeline to a certain frame and apply any changes to the model, and SimLab Composer will store the new transformation as a keyframe. To add more frames to the available 100 frames, increase the last frame number. Now you can create an animation that extends beyond the 100 frame mark. From the Render menu, select Output Settings. In this tab, you can set the type of image sequence you are going to render as well as the resolution. You can also determine the path to which the rendered image sequence will be saved. The SPP number will determine the quality at which each frame will be rendered. Larger numbers take more time to render. From the Render menu, select Render Animation. Set the frame range that you need to render, which is usually frame 0, to the last frame that has an animation keyframe on it, and click Start. Once the render is complete, you can view the animation as a sequence of images in the directory you chose in the Render Output settings. To turn those images into a video file, from the Video menu in the Animation Workbench, select Movie Maker. The Movie Maker in SimLab Composer allows you to convert a sequence of images into a video file. The input folder, which is the source of the sequenced images, will be automatically set as the directory where you rendered the animation. You can add and arrange directories in case you need to combine several sequences into a single video file. You can also add an audio file to play along with the animated video. Keep the video quality to maximum and set the frame rate to 30. Choose the format you want the video file to have and click Create. Once the video creation is complete, browse to the location of the file and play the video. SimLab Composer is very simple to use and can produce amazing results without much effort. And with the powerful real-time rendering engine fortified with a huge material library, creating a realistic 3D image becomes more satisfying than ever.